Friends, today I want to talk to you about a very sad, heartbreaking, and a harsh reality that is happening in Iran today. Sex trafficking is ever increasing in Iran. And in fact, it has become so prevalent and morally justifiable over the last few decades that it is now considered a common practice. One of the contributing causes to this is temporary marriage, also known as sire. Temporary marriage is a practice that allows a man to marry a woman for a predetermined period of time, whether it be a day, two days, two weeks, or years, whatever they decide on, to have intimate relations with that woman. And after that period of time is over, the man is free to leave with no consequences or obligation. You see, um, temporary marriage is often justified uh, in moral terms. However, if you really think about it, it is basically a legal loophole for prostitution. We hear about these legalized prostitution stories that are becoming more and more rampant every day. We recently received a testimony from a woman named Nushin. Nushin says that because of the poor life condition that she grew up in, she was forced to marry at age 15. A couple of years later, she got divorced due to the, a very terrible drug addiction that her husband had. After living with her parents for a few months, she realized um, that she was faced with a lot of financial issues, a lot of financial struggles, and they could not provide for her. As a result, she says, she had no other choice but to enter into one of these temporary marriage situation. After she got married temporarily, she became pregnant. And when her temporary husband found out that she was pregnant, he became very upset with her and uh, he wanted her to um, get an abortion. Nushin says, that she didn't want to lose the baby and she did not want to get an abortion. So in an effort to really put her on under so much pressure, he, um, um, has, um, she had, um, he had left her uh, for, for a few months while she was pregnant. And um, when he came back and found out that the gender of the baby is a girl, then he was livid. He wanted to um, get rid of the baby. He wanted to um, make sure that she, she gets an abortion. And, um, and she said that he, he was furious. He left again, she says, and she was pregnant uh, with absolutely no financial means to, means to take care of her. When the baby was born, he comes back again and when the baby was 11 days old, he came back with an offer on the table with her. She said that he offered her 11 million taman um, to sell the baby to an Arab guy that's interested to buy this baby girl from, from them. Now, 11 million taman is basically equivalent to $450. And she said that she was terrified that he was going to steal the baby and he was going to sell the baby to an Arab guy. Uh, she said she had to hide. So she um, had gone to find a hideout place to, to really hide with friends and family. And while she was hiding, she um, starts watching our program, Iran Alive Ministries, on satellite TV. She said in desperation, she, pick up, she picked up the phone and called Iran Alive Ministries. In her words, Nusheen says, the counselor was very kind to me and he guided me and introduced Jesus Christ to me. He told me that Jesus is love and, he had, and that he had died for me. An overwhelming peace came upon me. 
Therefore, I prayed the prayer of salvation with him, and I was overjoyed. After a few minutes, I realized my struggles and my issues have not left me yet. I am still left without a husband and this baby with no financial means. You see, I was often hungry and I could not breastfeed my baby and my baby was crying all the time. I was so desperate that at times I would tear my clothes to make baby clothes for my baby. It was at that time when Iran Alive Ministries connected me with a, with a woman named Farnaz. Now, Farnaz is a woman that is, um, that is working in underground churches. And she said that I had never met Farnaz, but she often helped me financially and brought, brought to me pantry items um, and prayed with me on the phone for hours on end. She said that she stood with me through it all. She would fast for me. She would intercede for me. She would read the word of God with me on the phone for hours on end. And one day, I got my prayers answered. My husband returned to me, and this time, he proposed to me to become his wife. Today, they live happily in the north part of Iran together. Friends, testimonies like this, as heartbreaking as they are, encourages us, encourage us to really do what we are doing, to broadcast the message of gospel to Iran, because we know that it is effective. The word of God is effective and is active and is really touching the hearts and mind of Iranian and transforming lives like this in Iran. Friends, this month we are committed to praying for Iranian women. Would you consider to pray with us so that Iranian women would be set free of the bondage of prostitution in Iran? Would you also consider partnering with us so we can more effectively share the gospel to the people of Iran? I pray that you do. Friends, we truly believe that we could see Iran transformed into a Christian nation one soul at a time.